Alright, where are we here today? here. Oh, Matthew! Good afternoon and good evening, and thank you for sharing the stream as always. You, sir, are wonderful. How's your day going? There we go. Alright, let's see. Where are we at here? Where are we at here in this lovely, lovely run? Got home from work. Nice. Hope it was a uh, a nice, easy day for you. So, got to go. Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out where where got to go today. <laughs> not been to the Eastern Palace. I can't get there yet. Ah, I know what we can do. I just got the shovel. So. Oh yeah, let me, let me turn. I was messing around with some cheats here, so just give me a second. There we go. How far did I get into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Sir, I beat it for the first time ever. And it was wonderful. Slow down, what's going on here? Too many enemies, I guess. Yep, I, I had never ever beaten it before. Um, got to the Technodrome. Yeah, definitely go back and check it out. I, um... <laughs> I, like, I had no idea where I was going or, or really, like, what I was doing. I was kind of just, like, guessing at where to go. Um, but I ended up, um, I guess guessing fairly well. Um, and there's this last stretch of the game that was just absolute torture. Um, the enemies were just non-stop, they, there was no breathing room, I had to like duck, I, I, I had to save state my way through it because I was so low on life and, <clears throat> and everything and it was just uh, a real pain, but I got through it, I got to Shredder, um, and Shredder was a kind of a disappointment, like if you watch, when you go back and watch it, you'll see like, I take out Shredder in, I don't know, a minute, not even, like, not even trying. Um, it's weird, it's weird. Very easy fight um, <laughs> for for having such a huge ramp up to get there, you know? They do! Yeah, they really do! They make him look like he's, like, you know, the baddest guy in town, and, like, I basically just... I had one hit left on Donatello, and it really didn't matter, I guess, at the end of the day, because, like, every single one of Shredder's hits are a one-hit KO, because he just turns you into a, a, a turtle. Like a, well, like a, a mini-turtle. Um, and so, like, it's just... Yeah, it was just weird. Weird vibes all around. Uh, just kind of... I don't know. Just different. I just kind of punched him a couple times, and he was... Easy peasy. So, I believe there's something in here that I can... fish out of the ground, but I don't... I have no idea what it is. I 
mean, I guess these rupees are nice, but, like, that's not really what I'm looking for here. I mean, those rupees are nice, for sure. Can I... I, I guess if I keep going, it won't do anything. Nichi, thanks for liking the stream, man. Really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. Ooh, lots of... Lots of money on this run, huh? Dang. I think there's, like, a heart piece or... Well, I mean, I guess I don't know what it's gonna be in this particular... fashion, but yeah. I think that's it. I think that's what we're looking for. Alright, so... Dark World... Dark World... Shooting Gallery... Uh, digging Contest... Green rupees, and I got 50. Perfect, okay. So those of you who are just kind of tuning in and watching, uh, I'm playing a Legend of Zelda, um, a Legend of Zelda randomizer run in which uh, everything in the entire world is topsy-turvy and nothing makes sense, and uh, it's all just kind of, you know, Everything's a little bit random and all over the place. Uh, have I ever played Bubble Bobble? So yes, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't played it in a long time, with the exception of having just played it. So prior to that, I hadn't played it in a long time. Um, I got to like stage. I don't know. I want to say like 51, something like that, uh, and it was brutal. I, I just got, like, stuck in this one spot, and I just couldn't couldn't get past it. Uh, but I might go back and try to finish the, the last couple levels here. Or the last 50 levels. Hey, Chris, good to see you, man. Normally start at the top left and then go right. Yeah, that's a, that's a good strategy. Um, I only... I, if I remember correctly, I think there's only one item that I can get out of there. Uh, so, I think it was the green rupees that... That I couldn't... Or, that I got. So, let's see. Where do I... I want to know where to go. What I really need is the flute. Um, so, if I can find me a flute, I'll be in pretty good, pretty good shape. down here in the Swamp Palace. Ah, this is Ganon's Tower. What do I need in Ganon's Tower? I think I need the big key. Big key. Need big key. Okay. No big key. No Ganon's Tower. Alright. So, where else can I go? Dungeon 7. That's Turtle Rock, right? So, I gotta find a way to get to Turtle I don't think I... Um, where's that? Oh, I don't have the mirror. Dang, that's right. I don't have the mirror yet. So I need the mirror. I need the flute. Um, there's, there's a lot of things I need. Yeah, the heart piece is, nor is, is in the normal game. Um... But in this particular case, I think it was the 50 green rupees. So let's see. Unless there's two... Unless there's two items that you can get from digging, but I think it was just that one. Ah, oh, thanks for liking this stream, I appreciate it! 
And I also have to find the witch's cottage. Or no, the magic powder rather. Rather, I still have to find that. Did you give me? I forgot what you gave me. Let's see, let's see. Let's problem solve this here. Taking damage. I thought I turned all of that off. Yeah. Cheats were good. Oh, there we go. Maybe not. Can I take it? Oh, okay, there we go. Michael, thank you so much for liking the stream. Welcome in. I think. I don't think I did anything here yet. Like, feed the catfish, right? Maybe I did. Remember. Rude. Alright, fine. Hmm. <laughs> Where else can I go? Finished. Emerald Castle. Um, I haven't found the Eastern Palace yet. I don't think I found the Water Dungeon yet. Or whatever. Let's go to the, or sorry, the Desert Palace. Um, I finished that. Finished this. Did I finish this? Oh, I did. I did finish... Oh, yes. I did finish Tower of Hair. I need one more key. Um, Castle Hyrule, I finished... Dark Palace, I need one key for. Um. Oh, Swamp Palace. Swamp Palace. Oh, Swamp Palace is in the Eastern Palace. Okay. I got that. Um, I need the key to the Swamp Palace. Do I have any keys? I have. Yep, I've gone to every house in the village. I actually mapped them out in a document here, so I'm trying. Um. I even did it through, like, Magic Mountain and Slash Death Mountain. It was. It was an event to, to do that. Um, let me just see. So Swamp Palace. I need a key to Swamp Palace. Thieves Den. I did that. That's all done. Ice Palace. That's cleared. Uh, yes, not recently, though. Um, let me see. Like I, I brought I brought the blacksmith back to or his his brother or whatever back to him and I don't think I got anything. I can't find the Oh, you know what I didn't do though? I didn't get the bottle. I gotta do that. I gotta do the the bottle thing. Or not the bottle, the the um the treasure chest. The treasure chest in the house. You go do that. I think that's in the, I think that's always gonna be in the same spot. Here we go. I also haven't found Ganon yet. I found his lair. Uh, I did get the bottle from the, or the, well, the item from the merchant. I spent, was like, a hundred rupees or something, and he gave me back a blue rupee, and it was very sad. Um, no, the, was it the chest in the house or whatever, where you have to bring, bring it in the light world to the guy by the sign? Uh, that's, that's the one I'm missing. Oops, where am I going? House with the bottle, or the house with the treasure chest in it. It's the—is it the old Smithy's house? 
Is that where it ends up? I think that's where it is. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, did I get the special thing down here? I did not. So, alright, there's the treasure chest. Let's try this. I currently don't have a way of getting back to the light world other than saving and quitting <laughs> and hoping that this uh, <laughs> this treasure just stays with me the whole time. Hey, hey, what's going on? Welcome in. Alright, let's see what uh, this, this guy will give me. Maybe he'll give me like the... Uh, no, no, I'm playing it um, through Retro Arch right now. I'm playing a, a randomizer run, um, so everything is is different. Oh, Chris, I appreciate it because I, um, I, I'm not sure. Uh, it's always good. It's always good to have a second, third, fourth, fifth pair of eyes on things because uh, you just never know. There's a lot of things I overlook all the time. Oh man, there's so much slowdown here. Take out some of these enemies. It's alright. Alright, let's see what you give me. Uh, wait, before I do that, let me get to the correct part in my... Alright. Okay. Ooh, I got a compass! Yay! Compass to Ganon's Tower. Okay, well... Not exactly what I was hoping for. But, you know, can't win them all, I guess. <laughs> it's like, throw me a bone here, right? Oh, I mean, Micah, thank you so much for the follow, really appreciate it. Alright, where else haven't I gone yet? Oh, let me go... Puddle. Hey Joe, thanks for liking the stream, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hmm. <laughs> I went under the bridge and got nothing. I need to go. I don't know. That's that's the problem, man. This is this is the problem with with the randomizer run. Uh, have I gone to the ice cave? -y? Uh, yes, I have been to the ice cave a couple times. Um, Zelda randomizer seems popular. I've seen someone play Ocarina? Oh, there's an Ocarina of Time randomizer one. That's gotta be wild. I'll have to look into that because that would be that would be pretty fun to play. Uh, yes, I believe I went to the ice cave already. Oh wait, I don't, I can't do anything here because I don't have. Dang. Okay. I think I have to get up into the. I feel like, I feel like the mountains are calling me, <laughs> but I'm just not. I just cannot remember. Like, what a, what other like things are there? Yeah, man, have a good one. Alright, what got going on in here? I just forget. Ah, good. Fairy, give me some... Oh, no, just kidding. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe going into the Lost Woods and poking around a little bit more. Um, or maybe even Death Mountain. Maybe I'll go to Death Mountain and kind of see what's, what's going on up there. Alright, let's do that. Let's regroup here and 
Because I feel like there's stuff up there that I still need to do. I, mean, I know there's still... I know there's stuff up here that I still need to do. I just don't know how to uh, access it yet. But I do have to go this way. Yet. Thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, let's go do that, because I know that's definitely a place that I haven't gone yet. Um, I went there earlier, and they were still cutting the tree, and I haven't been back there since then. So let's do that. Chris, you're a genius, my man. A genius. Let's hope it doesn't lead to, like, you know, a five rupee or something like that. And then while we're here, we'll, we'll hop into the Lost Woods and see, see what's going on over there. I also have the book now, but that doesn't really help me. Alright. Boom. Watch, it's like freaking Ganon or something stupid like that. Oh, Jesus, it is! Okay. Cool. Thanks, bud. Yeah, just kill me. Like, what do you want me to do? There we go. <laughs> well, guys, we found out where Ganon is. Oh, no! You're gonna use all my bottles! Oh, God, no. Uh, we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. I don't wanna waste all that stuff. Well, I guess I have egg on my face. So, we know where Ganon is. <laughs> oh man, that was... that was such a feeling. Such a sad feeling right there. Alright, let's see. So what are some things that, like, mirror, right? The magic mirror. Find that. It's fine. Alright, let me just take a look at this one more time. Swamp... Swamp Palace is the place I need to be. Like, I need to figure out a way to get some stuff for the Swamp Palace. I need, a, I need at least a key. Um, just don't know. Just don't know. Let's see, I wonder if there's any other places I've been that. Maybe there's just a place I haven't gone yet. Or a place that I, uh. didn't get to before. Let's look. Just miss that boy, huh? Ah, uh, yes, I am missing uh, Quake and Bamos. Yep, I have Ether. Yeah, so I'm missing. I'm missing the bug net, the two medallions, uh, the mirror, and I think the magic powder. I think those are the only things I'm missing right now. Let's just start, start, see what we got. Right, let's just jump in the water. 
zero, zero is decent. I don't remember where any of this goes. Maybe I need something. Okay, I uh, hear, hear fairies. That's nice, at least. Okay. Oh, yes, and the flute. Ew. Check my list here really quick. Let me see what we got. Chicken hut? I did, yes. Uh, let's see. here, my friends. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> did not. Did not. I did not. Alright, let's go let's go up into the um whatchamacallit woods here. Maybe there's a couple things we can we can find. That's all right, mate. I I'm not worried about it. I I appreciate the thought, but uh, it's probably my own slowy joeyness right now, trying to get through and figure out what's what. Check the uh. Let's see, where 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 are you taking me? Where are we going here? Sounds like fairies. Is fairy. It's gonna take me up the front there. Okay. Alright, well, that's not helpful. Yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where 
Let's get this possibly be. found the super bomb store. Uh, oh, perfect. I'm right next to it. Alright, let's see if maybe I can buy a super bomb. That might be cool. At least then I can do a damage here. Yes! Is there anything else that I can buy? Or, is the only thing that I can super bomb the, is the pyramid? Is that right? Yes, the Dark World does have a lot of different, uh, a lot of different stuff going on. Alright, let's take this to the pyramid. Maybe maybe this is what we needed the whole time. Oh, I'm in the sanctuary. This is not where I want to be. Oh, I actually have never been in this uh, area. I don't think so. <clears throat> Alright. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Let's make sure I get something good here. Make this trip worthwhile. Here we go. I use it here, right? I don't use it at the top of the pyramid. I use it right here. Actually, no. How to? Do it. Oh, there we go. Oh wait. Neat. All right. Let's see what we got going on in here. Probably nothing. Oh, really? It's just a fairy fountain? My dude. It's so heartbreaking. How do I get to the, um, how do I make the pyramid crack if I can jump down in there? Is that with a super bomb too, or do I have to get all the Chris? Oh, I have to be Ganon's tower. I think that's what it is, right? You have to be Ganon's tower. I know, isn't that so, just such a kick in the face? Oh, man. Alright, so, let's... Right, let's see, where else where else can we try? I have this is Bamos, right? Yeah. Or no. Is this Bamos? This is Bamos, yes. Um, so if that's Bamos, can I can't open that up yet, huh? Is that, uh, Ether? Is that the one you're talking about? And I'm super bummed about that. <laughs> I'm 
I'm super bummed about that, uh, that guy. Um, alright. Misery Myers level 6. I did that, so we, we beat that. Um... That did this. Yep, I cleared this. Okay. Got that. Let's see, I got that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep on keeping on. There must be, like, some sort of mechanic or system that I'm missing. There's no, like, fishing or anything in this game, right? Like, there's no... I don't think so. So I can't do that. I guess that's true. I guess I could just use the Italian and see which one it is. Alright, let's let's do it. This one is... Okay, so this is Bamos. Alright. We got Bamos. Now, let's see. check because I don't I'm not sure I did this yet. Alright, give me them. Give me them hearts. Let's go. I do get why people get very frustrated playing these though. Death Mountain in the Light World, yes, it definitely does. Uh, let me... Just trying to find, see if I can find, um... Let me find one other thing here. Do 
Do I, I must have it, right? I don't. I do. Oh, wow. Okay. I completely messed this up. I was looking at something that I thought I was still missing, but apparently I had it, so... Doesn't even matter. Okay, um... So let me just look... So I do have this, so that means I can do this... <laughs> um, let's see... Yep, oh, I did that, I did that. I guess... I can make... I can, maybe I'm just missing something in, like, Ganon's tower. Because, like, I can make a lot of progress in the tower. Um, I'm just missing the big key. But if I can just find that... I think there's still a lot of treasures I'm still... There's still a lot of treasures I'm missing from, from Ganon's tower. So let's try this. Let's try. Hey, Timothy, thanks for, for checking me out, man. And thanks for liking the stream. <laughs> yes, I definitely agree. This is the one of the best games ever, man. I love it. Uh, so let's... We're going to go into Ganon's Tower here. And we're going to see... Um, I think... Let's see, so I'm, yeah, because I'm missing so many treasures. Missing, like, 12, uh, 14, 15 treasures. So, if I can find my way through some of this, golden. Alright, what do we got going on here? I like, no, I can't get across that, huh? I can't push this problem, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I unfortunately don't have the magic powder yet. I have not been able to find it, um, in this playthrough yet. Yeah, let me go do that. I don't remember if there was anything actually in there that I needed to... I could move. <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe I need to... Um, so I did find the mushroom, and I took it to the lady. Oh my god, look at that! You're a genius! I just assumed that I wouldn't be able to move that block the whole entire time. Um, alright, cool. Uh, so, Timothy, what I'm doing here in this game, it's called a, um, a randomizer run, so everything in the game is different. Um, this game, all of the keys and all of the... Ch oh, look at this. Perfect. Okay. We're, we're cruising here. So let me get my, get my thing up here. Perfect. Guys, I'm excited. We are making our way through this. And just Ganon's Tower. Come on, Ganon's Tower. Bring me to Ganon's Tower. Let's go. All right. Perfect. So what do we got in here? Ten arrows. We got. Oh, we got the regular boomerang. Did it replace my old boomerang? I hope it didn't. That would be annoying. It did not. Cool. Actually came out when I was seven. Yeah, man, I hear you. It was real. <laughs> I, I definitely feel old playing this game. Oh, cool! I got a small key to this dungeon. Key to 
cannons tower times one. Perfect, so that's good. Got some more keys. Got a map, eh, oh, whatever. Map of Skull Woods. It's fine. Okay. So I got the map of Skull Woods in here. I think we already, we already beat Skull Woods, so we're okay. Let's see what other fun, exciting things I can do. My newfound powers. Oh, there's a chest. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Okay. Neat. Alright, we got ten bombs. Um, I, I play a little bit of everything, so I just played, um, I played through an old school game called Illusion of Gaia, uh, it's like an action-adventure RPG, um, kind of like Secret of Mana-ish, um, and I played, I just finished up Super Mario RPG, um, I played Super Mario World, uh, I played Mega Man X, um, yeah, I play, I play a little bit of everything, um, uh, uh, right now, I just started. Uh, the next RPG that I'm doing is a um, Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. Um, yeah, my RPG was great. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely check it out on on the stream. Um, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing it. I forgot how how good that game is. Oh, good, I got another key here. Perfect. I'm getting all these keys to Ganon's Tower, but I'm not getting the big key, and that's a bummer. Uh, FF7, um, I haven't played it on this stream, but, um, I mean, I've certainly played both the new one and the, um, one. I do have the old one on my Switch I could boot up. Um, yeah, love that game. O honestly, all of the Final Fantasies are great. I just got all of the, uh, Pixel remasters too, um, so I might do Final Fantasy 4 uh, when that comes out. I might stream that one. Um, it's hard because I want to I want to play all of these different RPGs, right? And like, <laughs> it, but it's hard to like play you know, multiple RPGs at the same time. <laughs> so I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep myself like locked into like one RPG, one one like action adventure game. Come on, man. And when I was a kid, I had to get the big book to find everything. Oh yeah, I remember those things, like those Prima, or the Prima strategy guides and stuff. Let's see. Perfect. Yeah, those were, those were cool, man. Alright, got a, got a heart piece. Well, I'm starting. I'm burning through these keys, which is, I guess, good, but also kind of making me a little nervous. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Yolo and stuff. It's, right? People still say. Take me somewhere good, man. Uh, let's go. This one. This is this is giving me some uh, Ninja Turtles energy. Oh, jeez, I don't know. There's so many choices. Um, you guys have any idea which one I'm supposed to take? Because <laughs> I don't. I do not know for the life of me which one I'm supposed to take. I guess we can just kind of guess. Guessing feels bad, but I guess that's all we got. Let's try this one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Turtles in Time? I love Turtles in Time. What a great movie. 
Uh, what a great game that is. That would be a fun, a fun one to play through to you at some point. Alright, so I guess it's not this one. That one feels bad. Let's try this one. Perfect. I think this is the one I was looking for. I don't really have a rationale for it. I just... That just seemed like the one. Okay. There's nothing in here. I gotta take it. Guess I gotta take it. And this brings me all the way. I remember this. This brings me, yeah, through here, which is not where I wanna be. Um. Oh, you fall through one of the holes in, in this area? Be on the lookout for like a clear, you know. At least I, I pretty much know how to kind of walk my way around here, which is good. Might be a different. Game. I know I did a bunch of that in like the fifth palace, and um, what's the other one? Um, fifth palace in the first first one, and then all oh, the obviously the. Uh, the tower, rather. It's a lot. I did that a lot in the tower. Over here. Over here. Did I end up going this way? Yeah, it's that was that way. One of the quality of life improvements I appreciate about this game is that they incorporated the L and R buttons to use like quick switching of the menu. That has been very nice. Okay. And I sure wish I had that magic powder, man. So, let's try this again. I think I pretty much did left the whole time. This one I think I took, yeah. Okay, so that, take, that one takes me there. So the one that I wanted to avoid was this one. Let's try this one this time. This brings me... It's not helpful. Really? And there's just nothing here, huh? So what am I supposed to see? Oh my god, guys, I'm an idiot. Do you see that? Alright, so I have to get over there. So let's... Let's reverse engineer this. Let's try... Let's try to do... Now I just don't have any idea which way to go. Ah, oh, it took me back. Dang, that's not where I wanted to go. Alright, well... Oh, you jerk. It's so weird having, like, random enemies in this, uh, in this loadout. It's like... I don't know, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just a different feel for sure. Alright, let's go around again. Let's go around the bend one more time. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, I would be very interested in doing a uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer run. That would be 
That might be a little bit too chaotic. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this kind of ends up going. Because I can't imagine, like, having to keep track of all of the random stuff in, like... You didn't like Ocarina of Time? No? How come? Let's figure this out now. Oh, wait, no, not yet. Let's... Shot, come here, Mr. Shot, thank you. Alright, I have to get over here. Why don't I... Here, just for posterity's sake, why don't I just save state it, and then we can... Uh, let's try. takes me here. Maybe this will take me. I need to go. Oh, right. Let's do it. What do we got going on in here? Okay. Uh, sure. <gasps> Perfect. More chestos. All right. I need everybody to keep your fingers crossed that I find the big key to this dungeon here. <gasps> That's a big key. Oh, yes! First chest! Yes, perfect. Alright, we are cruising now. We can we can beat this, um, I think. Oh, we got the bug catcher net. Perfect. Bug catcher net. Alright, what else we got? What else we get in here? Heart piece. I'll take a heart piece. And Another heart piece. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. I think... I think that means I can go up top to this, uh... I think I can go up top now. This one? Oops, I didn't mean to go on that one. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. It's always funny, I feel like I have this weird ability where it's like, I will fail at something a billion times, and then I'll be like, okay, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna save state it here and we're gonna do it. And then as soon as I say that, the next time I I I do the thing and I or I figure out the thing, or it just just happens to work out in my favor. Alright, so big chest, what do we got? 20 rupees in the big chest. Alright. Red rupee. Times one. Big chest. Cool. Alright, we got four more treasures in this dungeon. Give me that. Give me a magic mirror. Playing GTA 5 right now. Trying to get everything and all the easters. Are you playing um, through the like the story mode or are you playing through online? Nice. Have you been have you been trying to do that for a while? This is like your first time playing through the, the game.
Gotcha, but just a fast run through. That's cool. I I oh, I have to push one of these blocks, don't I? That's what I have to do. So I have to probably push it from the side. GTA 5 is is a really interesting game. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they've almost released it on as many plat as on as many different platforms as, like, Skyrim at this point. I'd love to see a, a Switch... a Switch port of, uh, GTA V. When you play, who do you like to, like, who's your favorite story mode guy to use? Ooh, Valhalla, nice! I hope, are you enjoying that so far? I heard it's a little buggy. But I, I honestly have no, no idea. Alright, what are we, what are we dealing with here? <laughs> yeah, Trevor. Trevor's a he's he's a good dude. He's he's got a lot of stuff happening in his life. <laughs> Let's get rid of that noise. The man has got a lot happening. I haven't had any problems except the controls are a little different than the old one. Okay, how so? Oh. Thought I could just do it, man. Thought I could just... How do I get over there? There's no rock's feather. Maybe I fall from above. Maybe? I don't know. I will say what I do also, what I am enjoying about this randomizer run is that so far most of the harder dungeons that I've been in have had lot easier enemies. <laughs> like, for example, these guys. As I get all by one. I always, uh, I always really liked Trevor. Um, <laughs> he's just—he's just a weird dude. He actually reminds me of a guy I went to high school with, which I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Probably bad. Yeah, that's fair. Wish I had that mirror shield, man.
Oh, I had you. Dang. Can I kill you? I feel like I want to... Oh. Really? Oh. Do I... Whatever, I guess I don't... I don't know. Should I have tried to kill that guy? I feel... I feel conflicted. Whatever. Is what it is. Can't go back now. as much as I should have in this run. I will start doing that a little bit more frequently. Alright, what are we... what nonsense are we dealing with? Oh, jeez! Okay, I guess that's the nonsense we're dealing with, huh? Huh. This is a... get into a, a good spot where I can... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it in time. There we go. Can I get down there fast enough? Before they go out? Just made it. Oh, jeez. I was not paying attention. Yikes. Okay, these guys absolutely destroy me. Um... Oh, that's not fair. Fine. All right, well, I got a... Uh-oh. Okay, well, let's start on this side, then. Dungeon. Alright, let me mark that off. That, oops. Okay, this treasure, what do we got? Ten bombs. Yeah, Quake and Ether I've not been able to find yet. I'm missing uh, Quake, Quake, e Ether, uh, the Magic Powder, and the Flute, I think is what are left. Yes! We got a heart container! Nice! Alright, 
Alright, this is the last key I have for this dungeon, so let's hope I can get to the end. What oh, stupid Mothra. Can I just attack you from here? Dang, I cannot. Well, I guess... You don't like the fire rod, right? That's like the thing that you hate. I was like, uh, what do I do? Got here. Heart piece. Nice. Okay. It just seems unnecessary. Stupid jumping skellies. Oh, come on, really? Get up them stairs. Anything else in here? Ah, oh, cool, we're at the boss. I don't actually remember who the boss was supposed to be in Ganon's Star. I think it's the, the wizard again. Um, so I'm curious to see what boss we'll be fighting. Okay, it's the wizard again. Oh, but you nasty, huh? Hey Shakir, good to see you man. How you doing today? And these three furs. What I got? I got a single fairy. Okay. as good as I can, man. I'm trying to find the magic combination of this. <clears throat> I just have to remember that not... Oh, yeah, there we go. We got him. Or is there more? Get in spirit! Come on, just... That's all you gotta do, and you win! Alright, whatever, fine. Nuh-uh, I don't have the flute. You can't... You can't do that. Sure? Alright, who's excited to see finally what's in Ganon's tower? Because this guy is. Um, don't get anything, I guess, from there? I, <laughs> I have not uh, attacked a chicken yet, because I terrified of what might happen. <laughs> uh, sorry, let me just... one thing in here real quick. Let's see. Top of the pyramid. Oh, and what was it? The the bombed wall. Um, that was a fairy fountain. Yes, fairy fountain. Alright, let's 
let's be smart about this. Let's go and heal up before we face, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess it's not Ganon. Like, I, we know where we know where Ganon is now, so... I don't know what's going to be in here. I should attack the chickens, though, just for fun. Just, just so I can uh, get it out of my system, you know? Alright, top of the pyramid. What you got for me, bud? What do you got? Let's see. We got... Lots of treasures. Alright. Perfect. Small key. Small key, too. Oh, Swamp Palace, everybody's favorite. Someday I'll be able to get there. Someday. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Timothy, I appreciate it. I got a red rupee. I, uh... Oh my god, thank you so much for saying that, because I did not even register that. Alright, what else we got? Uh, I got the garbage shield. Level 2 shield. And... Red Rupee. Is there more? Come on, give me something. Make all this worth it. Ooh, boy. Stop the presses, everyone. Red Rupee. There's nothing else here, right? There's no more bombing of the walls. No. Okay. Dang. Are you taking me, huh? Oh, yeah, of course. That's where I come out. Alright, so... Where to next? What else do we need to do? Um, let's see. Got that small key. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! We can go to the Swamp Palace, because I finally got a key! Oh, dang! Okay, um... Where is the Swamp Palace? It is... in the Light World. Let's head to the Light World. Uh, have I done the Ice Castle? I did, that was, um... I think that was the first dungeon I did this game. Alright, let's go. It's all starting to come together. Oh, actually, while I'm here, let's go... Do I not? What? Oh. Well, fine. Swamp Palace. Let's... So, in this run, the Swamp Palace is in place of the Eastern Palace, so I have to go this way. Well, did I get whatever was over here? Maybe this is all just coming together. This should be the Swamp Palace. Yeah, so it's not even that it's completely backwards, it's that everything is completely randomized. So, um, like, going into a house in Kakariko Village could actually put you, like, in one of the caves in Magic Mountain. Um, or 
all of the keys and items and compasses and stuff are scattered in different dungeons and throughout the world so like i could find a key to the dark palace in the swamp dungeon um it gets it gets really really wild so like i i've been in here before um but i couldn't progress because i needed another um i needed another key to get through it yeah it is i'm really enjoying it 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 was a little frustrating at first but you know like overall i i really had a, i'm having a good time with it so this is yes this is the water palace this is sorry water palace swamp i always get them confused okay wait actually is is this called the swamp palace or is this called the water palace because Misery Mire, I thought, is the Swamp Palace, but apparently that's a completely separate thing. Or maybe, maybe Misery Mire is... Oh, you know what? Maybe Misery Mire is just the name of the area. Oh, guys, we got the magic mirror! Yes, perfect. No more having to save and quit. Uh, Swamp Palace is the one with the worms that jump out. Okay, gotcha. So that was actually the first dungeon that I did. Alright, we got a key. Wait, just one second here. Let me just, uh... E2... Or whatever palace. Whatever palace it is. Alright. Got the hook shot. We are in... Yeah, you would definitely want to at least play the original first. <laughs> um, and what's cool is that with this version, um, like you can re-upload it and make it like random in a different way every single time, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can you can kind of change how difficult you want it to be. So like you can make it so that like the bosses don't shuffle around the the world. Um, or, you know, like, the keys and stuff are, are randomized, but they're still randomized within, like, the actual dungeon that they're in. Um, so it is, it is neat that, that you can do some stuff like that. Uh, give me a bomb. Right, right, but in the dark world... Um, which I can't actually get to that area yet because I don't have the flute. But now that I have the mirror, I can do a couple things. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what what kind of access that gives me. That was a big. That was a big find. That really helped helped out the run a lot. So let's see how far into the swamp palace I can get. Let me just check something. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Uh, oh, it's a hook shot in here. Cool, I right, got a key. Got another key to the palace here, so that's good. I like finding keys. Means I'm, means I'm on the right track. Oh, I guess I can open up the big chest. What's in the big chest here? Guys, I got a whopping blue rupee. Got five five whole rupees. Let's let's all uh, just calm down. <laughs> big money, big money over here. I think that's what's the most disappointing about this run, are like, sometimes you just get things, you know, where you feel like you, you should get like a really big prize, uh, and like normally you would, but in the randomized run it's like, nah, you get like a single green ruby. Um, like getting the Zora flippers, for example. Did I miss something? Is there like a bomb wall or something? Or is this just like... It's just like a nonsense area. Okay. Cool, I guess. Um, getting the Zora flippers, I, I, ah, there you go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, yes! Guys, we got the flute. Man, this is, all right, we are, 
We are cruising. So I think the only thing I need... Okay, magic powder and the two medallions. And then I have everything. Oh, well, I don't have everything, actually. Yes, now I can call it that, that duck to come move me around and I can go... I can actually finally get to places. I'm so excited. This was such a big this was such a big dungeon to get get stuff in. Um so I am still missing two bottles. The red jacket and what else am I missing? Uh my 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 shield, my last shield. So there's still quite a bit to get. Yes, thank you. The mirror shield. I couldn't remember what it was called. Isn't there I could have swore I could push this. I guess not. Oh, uh, whoops. Am I supposed to look shot over here and see if there's a key? No, okay. Attack me, please. Thank you. Oh! Oh no, I, I got the thing in there, right? That was... It did, didn't I? Because I can't turn that back off, can I? Perfect, thank you. Thank you for that tip, I appreciate it. I will try to remember that. If you see it, call it out. That does that does feel right. I feel like that's correct, um, but I just don't. I don't remember. I just don't remember. Well, it's not this one. <laughs> ah, here we go. All right, what do we got going on here? This is a, okay. Just making some choices, I guess. I mean, like, I don't exactly know that. That's fine. I don't know which one I'm supposed I guess I'm supposed to jump in both of them. I think that's probably the right answer. So let's start with, let's go with Lucky Left first. I think there's a treasure chest over there, so that's perfect. Alright. Oh, magic powder! Alright! Yeah, the one on the right. Snake head. Oh, in that area? That's where I was supposed to, uh... Jump down? Or jump up the waterfall, rather? Okay, cool. I will I'll take a look at that in just a second. I think I think you're saying up here somewhere. Don't go away, but I know there's one in here. Yeah, no, that's totally fine, man. I I appreciate that you are even you know, that you even remember, because so, I did not. Um, I do need to get... Oh, I gotta go hit the stupid button again. Dang it, now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so confused! So, what, I gotta go up in here... Gotta hit this button again. I'll come back around, I guess. See him right. Maybe. Okay. 
I will say, uh, so far out of the shuffled bosses that I've had to fight, there was the, um, I don't know if you remember the third Dark World dungeon, the Moth dungeon, um, but there's like spikes and moving platforms and stuff like that that just like make, you know, just make everything really difficult and annoying. Um, the boss that I had to fight in there was actually the boss of the Thieves' Den. Uh, the blind where, like, you hit it and then the head flies off and it starts shooting all over the place. Um, it was so chaotic. I don't know how I managed to get through it. Hey! Compass! Perfect. Found the compass of the Swamp Palace. Compass to Swamp Palace. Oh, well, I guess in this game they're calling it the, the Swamp Palace. Yeah, and then it gets like three heads. Yup, exactly. That is 100% right. It's so annoying. It was fun. Um, the tower, so like this, the third light world dungeon, uh, <laughs> I had to fight that giant uh, dinosaur thing that has the helmet that you have to like smash with the hammer. And that was actually quite challenging. Uh, let's let's go in here first and then maybe we can uh, figure some stuff out. Rude. Hey Ganon's castle and you have to ride the trolley. Oh yeah that was um are you talking about the one in, in Turtle Rock or whatever? I don't remember it in, in uh Yes, thank you. Is that for both sides? Alright, let's start with the left side. Yeah, the one at the very top of the mountain. Yep, that's right. Yes, I cannot. All right, all right, I get it. I get it. You like shooting those things. I, I get it. Oh yeah, like another thing is, um, you don't start with like the lantern in this game. So anytime you go into the dark, you're just completely in the dark. Uh, that was tough. Uh, now, do you still have to do your prayer things at the big rocks? That gives you... Uh, yes! So you still have to do those prayers, um, like read the book and, and whatever, um, but it will drop a different item from the sky, so it could end up being like a... Um... Oh, was there a tongue that I missed? Was it the one in the, the area with the things that were shooting at me. I thought I tried doing it and it didn't work. Back and check though. I don't actually need to... I could have just used the... Yeah, I can't pull this one. Let's try... Oh, I have magic powder now! I can actually kill you! Yes! And they turn into fairies! I forgot! And I have a bug catching net! Oh man, this is... This is like... A new... A whole new world, man. A whole new world. Alright, before I... Eh, let's just... Let's just go this way. See what we got going on down here. No, I want to go back and get those treasure chests. I think I can do that now. Yes, I know. I get it. Things are bad. 
me them treasures. Alright, what do we have here? I feel like this game was way before its time with the open world. I agree! I, I think they really, um... I think, I, even in general though, like, if have you played the original one for NES? Like, the... Ooh, I got a B? Did I get a B or did I actually get a, a third bottle? <gasps> Alright, I got a third bottle! Nice! Ah, perfect. Yeah, they had a lot of, like, secret walls and stuff like that. Oh. There it is, my friend! There it is! Um... I feel like that's the way I have to go. Let's let's go up here and see what, see what's see what's what. Yeah, all right. This feels like the right way to go. So I'm gonna back out here for a second. We're just gonna go the other way real fast. Make sure I'm not missing any treasure. I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> nah, man. I uh, you were you were spot on. Alright, so there's nothing over here. But that's okay, now I know. This one, this one. Okay, there's a bomb wall there. Okay. Oh god, is this like a... Cool, I got a key. So we need them keys. Let's go here. Let's bomb this wall. I will say the problem though with having this uh, quick trigger or the quick menu and having too many stuff, too much stuff, it's uh, kind of defeats the purpose. That's okay. All right. Well, there's the key there. Oh, great timing. Is this a boss? Oh, we're walking into the boss. Alright, so let me just save just in case, because who knows what the boss is going to be. Oh, okay, it's the Muldrums. Nice. Yeah, these will be so easy. It's nice when the the bosses are um, <laughs> when the earlier bosses are later, because it just makes them so much easier to kill. However, it does also make it much harder when the uh, let's see. Oops. It did. I am missing one treasure though. And you got lucky there. Yeah, I did. I definitely got lucky with uh, with those bosses. Huh. So, alright. So we got the mirror. I guess the next thing to do is we're gonna go... Am I missing? Alright. Oh, I got the flute now, right? So I got the flute. Man. Now I'm just paralyzed by choice. I have too many... Wait. Guys, I did get the flute, right? Where's my ocarina? I... I'm confused. Oh, there we go. Oof. I was so confused. Oh, I have to unlock the bird. Right. So I have to go to the Dark World for that. Aether and Quake, Red Outfit, and Mirror Shield. Alright, let's go... I think I have to go... yeah. Yes! Oh, right! 
That's right. I was gonna. Oh, good. I'm glad you reminded me of that because I was actually gonna go into the dark world and be like, and go to the stump in the forest. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Nice. All right. Hey, Kevin. Uh, I'm playing A Link to the Past, uh, and it's random, so all of the items and all of the keys and maps and everything is shuffled around, um, as well as all of the, uh, all the dungeons, all the bosses, everything. Everything is random. You walk into a house, you could be going into a mountain. Oh, come on, man, get out of my way. What's up? Not much. Not much, man. Just playing some, playing through some Zelda. Just, uh... I, yes, I did get the book from the library. Uh, where am I going? Uh, so this is, um, Link's blue, blue armor. So it's like the level two armor that he gets in, in most of the games. All right, there's my friend the duck. Yes, yes. That's nice. Uh, while I'm here, I believe I can get the magic powder thing now. Now that I have magic power. <laughs> yes, let me go do that. Let me let me go terrorize some chickens. I promise and I shall deliver on that promise. Uh, let's see. I think I can... Oh, wait. Uh, um... I have to find a chicken. Alright, be on the lookout for a chicken. Because if I go into the coops, I think it takes me to, like, the... Um... It takes me, like, to the mountains and, and stuff like that. So, next chicken... Will be... Diced up and sliced up. Uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. Let me just check something really quick. Uh, need... Okay, it's in the grave... East of Graveyard Grass Hole. Okay, perfect. Yes! More, more chicken emojis! All the chicken. Alright, let's see what he gives me. He gave me ten whole arrows. Thanks, man. It was, uh, it was real worth it. We got that. That's fine. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know if that bat would be a Gryffindor. He he kind of he, he's got some slither in energy. I guess Link would probably be a Gryffindor though. He would have to be, right? I think we're all in agreement. Link would be Gryffindor. Zelda would probably be Ravenclaw. Um, Ganon would obviously be a Slytherin. Oh, chicken! All right, let's murder a chicken. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Casey. Link would be a, a Gryffindor. I don't know if anything happens in this... Uh... Oh, God! There they are. Dodging them chickies. Is that it? More. Send me more chickens. Fine, don't. Don't send me more chickens. I see how it is. 
Okay, so. We have the flout. Um, there's a couple things I want to do before flying. Before flying to Misery Mire. <laughs> no, Kevin, I was not. <laughs> I was just, uh, trying to get him to have his pals come and attack me. You know, as one does. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do... Let's get my prey on. Magic Mira. Okay. And it is nice to have that. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Alright, I got 300 rupees. So, 300 rupees from the stone. Let me mark that off on my list. Okay. And I guess while we're here... Not while we're here, but while we are... in the mountains, let's try... Uh, the last one is on top of the- yes! I, for some reason, thought that there were three of them. But, I guess I was wrong. I always thought that there was three, um, because there's three medallions, so I just assumed there was three. But then I remember that you get one of the medallions from, um, the, the, the fish, the angry fish. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Please don't let me bump into that guy, thank god. If you talk to- if you accidentally run into that pink guy for some reason- Oh cool, I got a heart piece. Nice. Let me mark that off. Heart piece. Okay. And now let's get to my prayer book. Give me something good. Got a map of Hyrule Castle. Woo, doggy. That's exciting. Alright, but now. Oh, wait, I don't think I can get in there. I don't think. Let me just check something really quick. No, Alright, well, let's just, uh. I, there's a couple things I can do in here, so at least I can do that. Uh, what's the mission? So uh, it's the same as it is in, um, you know, the original game. I have to get my pendants, then I have to get the master sword. Uh, I have to kill the Ganon wizard friend, um, save Zelda, rescue the princesses who are trapped in crystals. Um, it's just everything, everything's just a little bit more chaotic. Uh, Misery Mire. Okay. Is this what I'm looking for? I don't think that's what I was looking for. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Red Ruby. I wish I could, man. I wish I could. Why you come in here and pretend like you have something this fountain wants? Come back with bottles. Sorry. I think there's a thing here. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, what are we gonna, uh, Desert Palace. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, just fairies. Okay. And I don't have to worry about that. Alright, so that was nice. Maximiliano. <laughs> Thank you! I have the voice of a smart dude. I appreciate that. I I don't know if that's always true, but uh, I, <laughs> I appreciate those words. Let's see. So, what is next for us? Um, Fairy Cave. I guess we're gonna go up to Turtle Rock. I guess that is the next, the next adventure here, because we have. Oh no, I still don't have Bombos or Ether or whatever I need for it. Um, let's. Hmm. Well, I am stumped. We can do. Did I figure out? Did I figure out where the Eastern Palace is yet? Do I even have that uh, stuff yet? Let's take it. I don't have anything. Huh. Just look at. Let me just look to see if I found. Give me a moment while I consult the list here and see what I can find. Uh, do I like speedrunning 2D platform games? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've never, I've never actually done a, a true official speedrun before. Um, but I, I, I mean, I love, I love playing platform games. Yeah, I, I like playing obscure games, <laughs> obscure platform games. Also, um, so let's see. I have not found it yet, have I? Gotta be Turtle Rock. That's that has to be where. That's the only other place I haven't been yet. Oh man, like Limbo. Limbo is really fun. Um, I do enjoy Limbo a lot. That that's a that's an adventure. Um, I think the first time I played through Limbo, I died like. I don't know, like a hundred billion times, um, but I did get down to like around 30, I think, at some point, and that felt that felt like an accomplishment. I would, um, but I never really like sat down and tried to beat it. Ah, uh, the end is night. That sounds familiar. I don't think I've ever actually played it. Um, what's it? What's it like? And all this for 20 rupees. Oh, okay, it's from the creators of Binding of Isaac. Okay, cool. That's a those, those games are absolutely brutal. <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoyed playing, uh, playing Binding of Isaac. Um, I also really liked playing Rogue Legacy a lot. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, 
that was a, a really fun one that I enjoyed. Um, I haven't played Rogue Legacy 2 yet, though. Oh, Badlands is fun. I really liked Badlands. Uh, that was, yeah, that was a good one. Um, Mo, uh, Moastre, Moastre. I, I haven't played that one, no. I haven't heard of that one, actually. I guess, you know, that makes sense, since they're obscure. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. I love roguelikes. That's one of my favorite games, or one of my favorite genres. Yeah, I, I really never got into them. Um, uh, does it? Do, do you get something for dash dashing into it? Is that the one that's in the village or like in the thieves' den? I don't think I got anything. Um. Rogue Legacy is is real hard. Um, yeah, the second one is an alpha right now though, uh, which is really fun. Um, I demoed it not too long ago, but it'll be interesting to see how they how they play like play through it. You know what what ends up being kept and stuff. Yep, yeah, yeah, so really excited to, to try that um, when it's, like, finalized. That'll be cool. Alright, um... Out of heat. <laughs> Spelunky is... That's a really fun game, too. Um, have you ever played it two-player before? It gets absolutely wild. No, come back here! Get back here, you curative vixen! Come on! There we go. Had to pull you in with that boomerang. Oh, it's the Ice Palace. I've already- I've already been here. Oh, it's fun. Um, it makes it, like, 6,000 times more chaotic, which is actually pretty fun. <laughs> Not actually a fan of playing on multiplayer, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair. Like, it's, um, it's tough, like, and it's just, you know, it's... I enjoy, like, playing single-player platforming, too, probably more so than, than multiplayer. Uh, because it, sometimes it just gets a little annoying. <laughs> uh, Metroid. I can, I can, I think I have, uh, I have the original Metroid here somewhere. But I don't think, oh, I think I have Super Metroid, too. I don't have any of the Metroid Primes, though, yet. Um, where do I gotta go? Where do I gotta go? It's... Where, where be that Eastern Palace? I have not found it yet. Looking at my stuff here. Give me one moment. Um, what are some of my favorite 2D platformers? That's a good one. I. All right, I'll I'll just start naming stuff, and you tell me if if you consider them like platformers or. Kind of more like action adventure because I feel like sometimes they kind of bleed into different genres. Um, like for example, like I would consider Castlevania uh, a great platformer, but I would also consider it a you know an action RPG. 
um, you know, in, in some of the, the versions. Um, but that's definitely one of my favorite series of all time. Uh, I mean, like, certainly, like, the Mario games are great. Original, any, any Metroidvania is really good. Um, I just started playing Ender Lilies for the first time. That was really fun. Um, uh, Ender Lilies, uh, what's, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name. Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, if I run into that tree, that's where Ganon is. <laughs> uh, my buddy Steve, he loves Monster Boy. He he talks that game up so much. I've never actually played it. Uh, Hollow Knight's great. That was gonna. I was just gonna mention that one. Um, I guess there's some rumors that Hollow Knight Two is finally coming out at some point, um, but I don't know. Um, you know, with Castlevania being on the list, I really liked Bloodstained. I don't know if you played that, um, but it was, you know, the spiritual successor to Symphony of the Night. Loved that. Um, I'm just kind of running around because I have no direction. Look at my notes here while I keep thinking about 2D platformers. <laughs> to find, I need to find the Eastern Palace. Or no, I need to find Ether. I think that's what I need. I think I need Ether first. What's the other one? Quake? Where's Quake? Quake opens up which one? I think that opens up the turtle thing. Let's see. Where, where you be? Oops. Where? Which one is this? I think, alright, so I think I gotta go back to light world. <laughs> Keep forgetting that I'm playing random. I know, it keeps throwing me off too, man. <laughs> uh, I know, I'm just like, why can't I just go to here? Why can't I just go to here? I have a note here saying that there's a cave. Be what I'm looking for. Oh, there's a bomb wall here that I missed. Oh, look, yeah, houses, houses, and everything are are random. Yep, everything. That's that's a bomb wall, right? Like, what, do I need? No, I I don't need to like super bomb that, right? That seems weird. That seems strange. I don't know why I keep bombing it like this time it'll be different, but I really wish it would be. It's really strange. Real strange. Maybe it's like a one-way bomber. Let's, let's go in there. Not cooking it. But yeah, isn't it weird? It's such a weird feeling, like, going, <laughs> and then like suddenly you're just like, oh, I'm in a completely different world. Out of here. 
Well, I guess I kind of want to. I feel like there's gotta be an exit here. I mean, I know over there, that's where I just was. This doesn't, this doesn't seem right to me. Alright, um, all right, let's, let's get out of here. I'm really bummed about that wall that clearly is a bomb. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. Well, fine. Just worked. It all worked out. Um, I don't, I don't know why, why I did that, or, I'm sorry, not why I did that, um, uh, sorry, what I'm saying, <laughs> um, just look at something here, hey Matthew, it's you, I have this note here that says Bunny Cave, but it's not at all to me. Um, let's see. Alright. Let us go to the mountains. Step out, was talking with my boss about work. Oh, sounds fun! <laughs> well, welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Alright, let's go. We're up in the mountains. We did Ganon's Tower. We did. I think we did another dungeon. Oh, Swamp Palace. Or whatever we're calling it. Water Palace. Um. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah, well, let's hope so, because this has been an, an event trying to find this next point of uh, the game. So let's see. Is there a cave here somewhere? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Back up! All the way back up! Here we go! I will say, um, I did get very lucky in this run. Because, uh, in my first run that I did before I... Uh... If I'm asked, what do you do for a living? Yeah, sure! Uh, I work in healthcare. Uh, I'm like a, a case manager. Essentially, <laughs> for for mental health. I work. It. Oh, cool! I mean, I'm. Sh that's that's cool. I have a a buddy who does that too. Um. It's tough work, man. Uh, it really is a tough. Uh, that's a tough position. Let's see. My friend tells me all the time about, like, all this stuff that, like, people leave behind in rooms, or just, like, in general, how, like, how, you know, terrible some people are, I guess is really the only way I can say it. 
Uh, let's see, there was a guest last week at my hotel, had to be picked up by an ambulance. She had... Uh, she had copied and fortunately she had... she made a recovery. Oh, okay. She, she, sorry, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a, a, a typo or if it's like an autocorrect. Uh, she had copied. Um, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that she made a uh, terrible as an understatement. <laughs> oh no. I'm sure. I'm sure you have stories, man. I can't even imagine. Oh, she had COVID. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure working in in the hospitality business and like you know housekeeping and all that during COVID is that's gotta be tough. That's really gotta be tough. remember what I was even doing here. Um, okay. Let's call. Bye. There are people that leave the room clean, and there are those that don't care and leave the, the room looking like a hurricane came through. Yeah, I, I wonder about that. Like, uh, people are... I mean, people in general are just you know, kind of kinda gross sometimes, and I feel... I feel like you probably run into a lot of that when you're kind of... You kind of have to see, like, the day-to-day -day and how people kind of, like, treat stuff while they're kind of... Uh, treat, like, other people's property, basically, you know? <laughs> Destroying the hotel rooms and leaving stuff in weird places or all that stuff, I'm sure it's, uh... I'm sure it's some of the things that you see. So, sure. I'm sure where I'm supposed to go. Hi, bud. I see you. Oh, I can get this though, finally. There's this one couple that was staying there due to Hurricane Harvey that are staying in their home up and left one day and that room was down for... Wow. Okay. So, up and left one day. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that that's what I mean, like... It's... You know... I don't know. I don't know what, what it is, but I'm sure, like... I'm sure that happens... At more frequently than it should. I always get super nervous when I'm when I'm traveling and like are in hotels and I'm like, oh no, like should I leave this here? Should I leave this here? Should I put this here for this person? Like what if I put like all my stuff out of the way so that they can do their thing? And like, do I put this suitcase here? So here? Like I, I feel like I get this like weird travel anxiety specifically with with, uh, like, where to put stuff in the, in the hotel rooms. <laughs> oh no, like, if I, if I put my shoes by the door, is the person gonna think that I'm, like, a slob? Sure. 
just don't know where I'm trying to go. Want your bed made, make sure your personal stuff is off the bed. We're not allowed to touch the guest's personal effect. Uh, uh, yeah, so it, difficult for us. Oh! Okay, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Um, am I lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little lost right now. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my next move is. I need to get into Turtle Rock. In order to get into Turtle Rock, I'm pretty sure I need Quake. Um, but in order to get Quake, I have to figure out where that is. <laughs> that's where that's where we're running into problems. What other uh, what other travel tips and tricks can can you impart on me? Because I've always wondered, like you know what, you know, how to. Uh, how to travel appropriately like that. Make sure I'm not, you know, committing any wild faux pas. Alright, we gotta get, gotta get down off this mountain. It's, it, I, it's hard to say. Alright, let's go here. Go back into the dark world. I haven't not I don't think I've checked the area uh, where the lumberjacks are in the dark world yet, so I'm gonna head over there and see if there's anything for me over in that neck of the woods. Rude. Yeah. Stop the charge up. I don't know why I decided to pick them up. Just slash through them like that. Do you watch Avi? I haven't um I haven't watched him in years. Um, but I love yeah, I loved him. Uh <laughs> I loved watching those videos back in the day. Oh, look, guys! There's Ether. Yeah, that's that's you. Come here. I wish I, I want to get you. Uh, since I work, since I work at a hotel, I have a habit of uh, stripping the bed and gathering the towels and setting them on the bed, so it can be easier for the housekeeper to go in and out. They don't have to. Uh, they don't have to spend a few minutes getting all the dirty lints. That's smart. Um, that's really good. I'm, uh, that's good to know. Sword. Please save us. I'll try. Gotcha. Guys, I did it! I found Ether. Um, sounds weird, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> does, does Angry Video Game Nerd still, like, he still puts stuff out? I didn't know that. I thought I thought he was basically done. Not done, but you know. I appreciate that tip, Matthew. That's a, that's a good one. I I I like uh, I like to help out when I can with things like that. I um I used to work. I used to have a, a family business where. It was a restaurant, so whenever I would go to the restaurants, or even still, like when my parents and stuff go to the restaurants, um, they're always they always try to kind of like help out the servers by like stacking dishes and like stuff like that towards the end, and like in like a very specific way. But I got to the um, I got yelled at once by a waitress for for doing it, and then I got really gun shy about ever doing it again. I was like, oh no, am I making this like ten times worse for everybody? Um, so I always, I always want to try to like, huh, that's confusing. I guess it's a flying fish. Alright, now we can go 
think I think this is the one that I need for this dungeon. I hope I did this correctly. I'll have to check it. I'll have to check out his his stuff because uh, I have a, I have not watched the Angry Video Game Nerd in, in years. Housekeepers will be will be very happy about it. Okay, cool. Oh, it is the wrong one. Dang. Okay, so I guess we'll go to. I guess we'll go to the Misery Mire then instead. I always wondered too, like about um, like leaving tips and stuff for for housekeepers. Like, how? Like, I always wondered if it was like when you do leave them, um, do they think that like it was just money left behind, or is it like how do they know like it's a tip without like writing specifically like a note being like, hey, this <laughs> this is for you. Please take this. Thank you for your, thank you for everything. You know, like how do you? Is that, I guess that's probably the best way to do it, right? You just make sure that you're very clear about it. Because I didn't I didn't think about that. Like, if they're not, you know, if it's considered like a personal item or something like that. Got a shop in here. Once I farted in this cave so bad, all the jazz hands guys ran away and hid in the sand. That's nice. It sounds like that's supposed to be a clue. Loose change is normally left behind, but tips range from five on. Oh, plus tips are optional. Are more efficient. Yeah. Um, I also heard, and correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I think I got my. Is that my last bottle? Yes. Cool. We got our la my last bottle. Um. I had also heard that it's it's better to tip each day that you're staying. Like like if you were to do let's say uh, like a twenty five dollar tip, you would you would tip like five dollars each day if you were to stay for like five days or something like that, as opposed to waiting until the very end and like giving like a or like leaving like a, a twenty five dollar tip. Does that make sense? Oh, this is the Eastern Palace. Perfect. This is right where I wanted to be. Is it the minimum of any? Do I have anything for this? I have the big key? Okay. Actually, I feel like this is a pretty straightforward palace. There's really not much to it, so. I guess as long as I can find, uh, keys, I think. Okay. I think that's optional. Some people like to tip on a daily basis. T best advice is to you can afford. Yeah, that, for sure. That, that definitely makes sense. Um, cool. Cool. I really appreciate the tips, man. That, that was... That was really, really helpful. What, um, you got any other good, uh, pearls, pearls of wisdom for me? Let me write down where I am. Uh, let's see. Drew Meyer. It's our Eastern Palace. Misery. Meyer. Alright, chest number one. What do we got? Art container. Perfect. I think... There should be two more heart pieces left in the world.
Or actually, I have a better, I have a better uh, question for you. Now that I think about it, what are the things that are just big no-nos? Like maybe things that people think are helpful but are not actually helpful in any way, shape, or form. this forward momentum we're making in this game. I have, so I'm missing one pendant and two crystals. Alright. Stop jumping over my sword. Say no skip it. really not much left for me to get, so I really just need to find the mirror shield, mirror shield, uh, fake, fake, that is, hmm. okay, alright, alright, slow, slowly coming together, oh, ask and thou shalt receive, at that. So there is ether, or wait, ether. That was in the big chest. Perfect. Cool, guys. Alright, so there's only one more chest in here. God, these, these stupid... Go away! Go away! <laughs> a chest. Nothing comes to mind if you want to do something like extra shampoo, coffee, because that's a housekeeper. Okay, cool. There's a key that I don't have, or at least to a key. At least where there's a key that I do not have. Have you been working in the, the industry for a long time? Let's open up this door. Switch here somewhere, it's right? It's got to be. Oh, don't eat my shield. Hey, map of Thieves Town, nice. I guess it doesn't really matter because we don't really need. Oh, uh, four to five months with the current hotel. That's cool. Overall, is it a. a you're having a, a good experience? I had a housekeeping job years ago, but it was a five-star hotel, and it unfortunately was a bit too fast-paced for me. Gotcha. What, um, at a smaller hotel, and it's and now it's fun. That's cool. What what were kind of some of the, the big differences that between, you know, working at a, a five-star hotel versus working kind of at a, a smaller hotel? Or... I imagine it's it is a much different, much different, or at least can be. Hey, cool! Got another key. That's what I like to see. Eat. 
Alright, I only got hit once. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, one thing I also really like about this game, uh, or this version of the game, is they let you have more than 999 rupees. Big fan of that. Uh, the five star I was working at had celebrities like George Lopez, they would stay. The demand for housekeeping it much more like cleaning a room with 20. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> that seems, that seems like quite the, uh, quite the ask to, to clean a, an entire room in, in 20 minutes. Smaller place is 30 minutes, uh, with similar demands, but not as demanding as the first start. Gotcha, that makes sense. Well, that's good, it sounds like, you know, it sounds like it was a good, a good switch. <laughs> Did you get to meet celebrities and stuff when you were working in the, the hotels? I guess that's that's kind of one of the one of the things, right? You probably run into all kinds of different people. <laughs> Housekeeper in a five star five star hotel had to clean thirty rooms. Had to clean 30 rooms in 4 hours with only 20 minutes of room. Wow. Yeah, that... Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's a big hurry. <laughs> oh, it's cool you got to meet... Or, you didn't get to meet him, but you did get to see him briefly. That's neat. This... this... Wizard Lightning! What is with this Wizard Lightning all of a sudden? That's not one of your attacks. There we go. All that for a red rupee. Yeah, anything? Oh, we got Ether. That's right. Cool. You know what that means? On to Turtle Rock, which is probably just regular Turtle Rock. I bet you it's probably just the dungeon. It's kind of a bummer, because... It's an annoying dungeon. <laughs> uh, let's see... So, we got one crystal, one pendant left. So I'm trying to think, what dungeons haven't I been through? Um, Alright, I haven't been through Turtle Rock. <clears throat> Just finished the Eastern Palace. Um, Tower of Hera, the Water Palace, and the Desert Palace. Interesting. I don't know. Work at a sure stay hotel. It's a small hotel with me with probably 40 rooms or so. Uh, so it's not a it's not as demanding as a big hotel. Gotcha. Is is sure stay is that a, a type of hotel or is that the name of a, a company? I pray yeah, I prayed over there. Get back here. I don't really need you, but I want you. Ah, it's the Best Western Hotel. Gotcha. Cool! Very cool. Actually, that's the that's the company that my buddy worked for for a long time. Um, Best Western. I wonder if I wonder if the company he or the hotel he worked at was also considered a, a, sh a sure stay because there wasn't a lot of, of rooms either. It was a pretty small, um, a pretty small uh, thing uh, hotel. Sorry, brain was not picking on there for some reason. 
So I have to find the key to Skull Woods in here in order to, I guess, keep keep on a good momentum. Alright, let me just give me one second. Let's do this. I just gotta gotta get ready for my Turtle Rock. I believe this is the one we were, we were talking about earlier, where they uh, make you go around the circles a bunch of times. I do have four keys, so I guess that's good. Is there... hold on, I just want to look at something real quick. So... I know, I'm gonna double back out of here. It's funny. I have some notes from when I, when I played through this on my last save. And I'm on a map here so I don't get lost. <laughs> I remember this is a very confusing dungeon. <laughs> Back to the beginning. It was fun. It was a fun little adventure we took. So let us. Yes, let's go. This way. It's not the way I want to go. That's not the way I'm even tapping on my controller. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> wow, look at that. Did it on my first try. Didn't mess it up. It's about that time for bed. Gotta work tomorrow. No problem, Matthew. I really appreciate you coming, hanging out, watching, and uh, you know, giving me the that that moral support as I get through this dungeon. I uh, hope you have a good night, man, and I hope you have a good day tomorrow. I got this. That's right. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> we shall see if I got this. <laughs> I don't think there's too much lingering out there that I need to do still, which is kind of nice. I have a lot of the stuff, like all, all the items and stuff out of the way. This is a tile floor. It must be. I feel like this is the universal way to get through these, uh, these maps in Zelda games. Link to the Past, 
Link's Awakening, the new Link's Awakening, and all of, all of these are... Um, all of these dungeons that have this mechanic in it, you just stand in the doorway, just hold out your sword, and you're safe, and you're safe forever. Drink that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. It's a B. Uh, there we go. I want to make use of that bug catching net. Yes! Perfect! Did it. We finally got a bug. Or, finally got a fairy in a bottle. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, let's get to, let's get to crack in here. I feel like I want to use this magic powder because I've I've been trying to I, I've been avoiding those stupid enemies this whole game, and finally I get to finally I get to attack them. All right, we got another key. Treasure in room, but I don't see it. This? No. And I guess, I guess we just, uh, oh, maybe I have to push. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Alright, got a small key to the Dark Palace, which I already beat, but actually, I did need this. Key to the Dark Palace, because now I can actually, like, finish that dungeon. Um, I already beat it and got all the treasures except for one that's locked behind a door, so now... Now it doesn't have to be. I didn't see him. Like, I, well, I guess I, I saw him, but I didn't see him. See, if that makes any sense. Uh, where am I going? Here? Somewhere good. It's what? Now, I always forget the order of operations here. I think this is where I need to go first. This, this looks correct. Heart piece, perfect. That means I think I think that means we only need one more heart piece before we have all of the heart containers in this game, which is pretty neat. This brings us back out, so we don't want to go that way. I'm here, back, and then we're gonna take that other route. Fortunately slash unfortunately, I have played through Turtle Rock Dungeon too many times. What do we got going on? Go away! 
you can turn me into a bunny. That's rude. I need a couple things here. Alright, there's the big chest. We have the key for that, right? We do. We do. Perfect. So let's... God, I hate this. Oh, leave me alone. Big chest. We got the compass to the Tower of Hera. Compass to Tower of Hera. Cool. Um, and now, I guess we just go right into the box area. Bombs, bombs are bombing. <laughs> Kill some birds. I feel like, right? I can push this out of the way. No? Really? I thought I could get in there and then pull that tongue. Okay, something. There we go. I guess it was just the hidden Sandman that wouldn't let me get it. Leave me alone. Can I use my blue brain for this? Guys, this one. Oh. All right, so red rupee, red rupee, red rupee. This lovely, lovely part. So, if I correctly, I have. Uh, let me just. Oh my gosh! I have to go down. No, nope, wrong way already. This one. Nope, wrong way. This one. Down this one. Down here. Should be okay, perfect. This way, this way, up, all the way to the left, and down. Round, up, left, perfect. Alright, we did it. Now there's this terrible, I don't know, this terrible spot. fact that you're there, that you're the enemy of that stupid path. I don't have a... You still attack me, huh? Man, that hurts. I think there's another way for me to uh, get through that without the mirror shield. You just gotta. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage here, guys. This is gonna be a real, real bummer. Now let's save here just in case. 
Nice. Man, I really wish there was something I could do. I'll just get real lucky, and then one of them will be the mirror shield. Uh, although I'm gonna die right here. But, that fairy will bring me back. Yes, you will. Thank you. That is just enough for me to- oh god, no okay. Oh, there he is. Those guys. We definitely want those. Let's come down this way, thank you. Ah, oh, I did not get it in time. It's okay. Dang. Yeah, I get it. You really hate me. <laughs> I just want this last chest, please. Thank you. Just let me get it. Just let me get it. No. Now, let me go out and back in. At least then it will start me from... And I get another shot at this. Oh! This could be a nice way to survive this. Dang. Man! Three of them in a row, too, right? Like, those were- th that was three ten arrows in a row. It's, uh, absolutely heartbreaking. Alright, let's come back out here. Let's, um... Get a fairy again. Sure, why not? And now we're gonna. Alright, we got one fairy in a bottle. Now we're gonna turn this into another fairy. Personal usage. Now we're just gonna go. Just gonna go for it. That's how far back you reset. Uh, okay. So, what are we what are we working with? Fine, it's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Um, get out of here. Alright, and we're coming up on the boss. To which I don't actually know what the boss is. So, let's find out to guess our. It is. this guy. Mr. Hookshots. like, uh, that, that mini-boss in the original Zelda, when you get into Ganon's tower, or Ganon's, I guess, cave, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and he, that, like, eye that flies around. Attack you? Okay, I see, I see. Ooh, not paying attention, but doesn't matter. He just got... Oh, guys, that's a big, that's a big get right there. Red tunic, we did it. Cool, right. Nice, very nice. Okay, uh, this is a big chest, I believe. All right, so, red tunic. Oh. 
Alright, so now we have all of the crystals. Which means we can go to Ganon's Tower. <clears throat> Tower finally. Ready? Let's destroy it. What what dungeon haven't I done yet? I'm I'm really interested to see what what dungeon this is gonna be, because I don't know. Oh, wow! Okay, it's Skull Wood. Interesting. I don't have the big key here, though, so... Alright, well... That's a long... That's a long hike, because, like, the rest of Skull Woods is in its normal spot. But the, um... <laughs> but this area is not. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, you jerk. Uh, no. This is actually one of the... This is probably the last dungeon um, that I have. So once I beat this, I think that'll be it. Um, and then I can go fight Ganon. But I still need the big key to... Okay, this is exactly what I needed. The big key to that dungeon. Neat. Okay. So now that I have the big key to this dungeon, we can get out of here. Uh, let's see. Big key to skull. Okay, so. <clears throat> now we can do a couple things. Here, we can go back into the light world. Um, and now we can use my flute. I guess we we can technically go kill Ganon, but I feel like I need to I need to get the master sword officially and finish the last dungeon. Otherwise, it doesn't doesn't feel like a real a win. All right, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go into. Skull Dungeon. And now I just gotta navigate the Skull Dungeon. Oh, I also don't have the Mirror Shield. I don't know where that is. Which is... I'm hoping that it's the... That the Mirror Shield is the, um... Uh, come on, words. Is the big big item or in in this dungeon somewhere. That boy. I hope it's right in there. I hope that's where it is. Let's just open this up. I know I'm not really supposed to, but anyways, because I already it. It's fine. Right into the hole. Perfect. That should drop us right by that chest, sort of. Yes. Okay. Alright, everybody, keep your fingers crossed for me. Now I'm obsessed with killing these things. Now I, now I gots to have them. Yes! Look at that! Okay, your shield, big chest. Now I just have to. Oof, gosh. Okay. Now I just have to make it through this dungeon somehow. I just don't remember any of it, so. This will be fun. I feel like. This way. Is 
that's just gonna take me to one way door. Yeah. I okay. okay. Alright, let me just kill this. So I just gotta find two more treasure chests. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure how to do that. Right. Okay. Leave here. Pretty sure that's the only way I can this area. So I have to. Alright, so I have to leave. I have to leave through here. So I guess what we're gonna have to do is start over. Okay, so we take two. At least I have my mirror shield now, and that's that's what's important going all the way back for. I think I, um, so I have to go back to Ganon's Tower again, or the, the town, or uh, whatever we're calling it, the Tower of Hera, um, <clears throat> excuse me, because that's where I need to finish that dungeon, uh, but I'm just trying to get the last chest, I think, which I think I know is, I think I know where it is, because uh, it's a place I haven't been able to get to yet. Is an actual actually, you know what? Maybe it isn't where I thought it is. Well, let's let's find out. Let's... Oh, no, wait. If I fall in there. Oh, okay, this is what I'm looking for. This is the this is the entrance I believe I'm looking. For. Yes, perfect. Look at that! Sweet, sweet success. All I'm looking for right now is that last uh, small key to Misery Mire. That's nice. Okay, so. Small key to Misery Mire. Okay, now we can get out of here. Get rid of Mr. Hands. Oh, look at that. Sweet, sweet dodges. being a tree, and now we can go back to the light world. I don't know if I can use the flute in here. Nice! Perfect. Okay. So. Back up into the mountains to kill the last boss before Ganon. Then I can probably just go right to Ganon, and then we'll just... Oh no, I do want to go to the... Alright, no, we're gonna go get the... We're gonna go read the book to the Master Sword just to get whatever that is, and then we will... Then we'll go 
kill Ganon and I can say that I completed my first randomite. So excited. Let's go. Hey, on anything you're selling. Switch to the hammer. Whatever boss, um, whatever boss I'm gonna fight on this territory, it's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> this is the this is that platform that I was telling you about where it, uh, like you know, goes around in four different directions and there's like spikes on all sides and it's it's a it's a whole thing. Oh, right, because I have to be in the dark world. Duh! I just panicked. I was like, oh my god, everything I know is wrong. And it's not true. It's not that everything I know is wrong. It's just that everything I just did was wrong. <laughs> Big difference. Fairies are always... They just do their own thing, man. Just do their own thing. Let's go. Bring me tower. Hey Mason, thanks for liking the stream. Hey Steve, good to see you, man. If Link has a mirror shield, he has no excuse for walking around dressed in those colors. Um, red is a very protective color, and also his purple hat is amazing. So I disagree on all all counts. Steve, you're gonna hang around for the uh, the finale of my Zelda Zelda run. I got like two bosses away. And a Master Sword. I hate these Master Hands so much. Dressing in red means the police will stop him for speeding those Pegasus boots are up there. Ah, oh, awesome, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. How's your night going? How's your how's your Sunday? How's your uh, Labor Day weekend? Ah, oh, Mason, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate that. I always 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 glad to have you guys around. Ah, oh, dang. Whatever, it's fine. Yes, 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 I understand. Look, I'm a bunny! Oh, how was the show? Good! Was there, um... Did he get any, like, hecklers or anything like that? next to me scoffing at his jokes about baby boomers. <laughs> That's fair. That's funny. That's good. I'm glad it was a good show. I'm glad to hear it. Alright, let's see what, uh, let's see what boys we have in store here. Oh! Oh, this will be cake, I think. Depending on if I can get down here. Okay. Maybe this won't be cake. This is just annoying, actually. Gosh. 
Alright, now I'm making some progress. Now we're now we're thinking with portals. Going to see Oh Shang Li! Nice! I hope it's good, man. I haven't seen it yet, but I really do want to see it. Um Yeah, I, I definitely been wanting to Who constructed jumping statues? Statues are not. It's true, they're not. Man, this is a Like I said, any 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 boss in this freaking dungeon's boss's room is gonna be a nightmare. And I was correct. Oh, small key to the Tower of Hera, that's exactly what I needed. Um you know, like an hour ago. Oh, you saw it already, Steve? Nice. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see it at some point. Um, that'll be fun. Nice. All right. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe we'll have to do that then. Mason, I'm expecting a, a full report on on the movie. I want to know if it's a if it's a good one. All right, let's go get the master sword or whatever is in the pedestal. Maybe it's the last. I'm just hoping it's the last hard piece. That'd be cool. Uh, it's then, guys, we can go kill Ganon. This saga ends. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I... I've been trying to kind of... I don't normally, like, try to not... like, Or, I don't normally try to go blind into movies or anything like that, but this is definitely one where I, I'm really interested in um, to watch, like, without having really a lot of knowledge about Shang-Chi. Alright, let's see what my book tells me. Read my book. Just couch cash move right along. What you gonna give me? <gasps> Guys, I got 20 rupees from the Master Sword. That was a real, a real big get. Here's the question, do I get... Alright, what do you guys think? Should I go and fill up my bottles with fairies before Ganon? Or should I fill up my bottles with blue potions? I think I can probably just... Right, if I, if I lose three fairies, I don't deserve to be Ganon. I think is how... I think that's how I'm going to justify this. I would have liked to have gone into this with full life. One fairy, one mountain, do you go blue? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. You would go blue. Okay. So, alright, let's... Alright, where do I go for... Let's see, where are shops? I don't remember if it's Light World or Dark World. There's, I think, a shop here. Oh, there is a shop here, but it's not the one that I want. Good thing I marked it down. Blue potion, ice light. Oh, of course. It is that cave, just in the dark world. Of course it is. That's the only one that I've had. Okay, so... 
I guess we'll try this again. Yeah, I don't know if Ganon's got like special tricks in this version, so I, I guess you're right. I think it is. It's it's smart to go in prepared. I'm just gonna. Uh, oh, okay. You can just let them out of the bottles. That's cool, I guess. Got my magic bee with me. Go do your thing, Magic Bee. Yes, kill everything. Um, so I've beaten the original one on Super Nintendo, but I've never beaten this randomized version uh, before, ever. So I'm very curious to see how how it goes. I'm also very thankful that I didn't have to go looking for Ganon. Um, I just happened to find him by accident in this run, which was nice. Um, he absolutely murdered me, um, but at least I knew where he was. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not the way I want to go, right? I want to go... Yes, that's right. Come on, bud. I can't believe the Master Sword, they gave me 20 rupees. That was such a, such a sad. Let's see, overall I'm just missing, out of all the items, the only thing I'm missing is one heart piece. That's not too bad. And I'm sure it's probably just in one of these dungeons that I just haven't finished clearing out yet, so. Uh, what game am I going to play next? That's a really good question. I, um, so I'm just, I just started playing a Pokemon Soul Silver, um, uh, a Pokemon Soul Silver, um, Nuzlocke run, which has been pretty cool. I started, I just started that, and, um, I Oh, I, I do have to double check that um, on Legacy of Kane. Um, I did get it running, uh, but it, it was really like choppy, um, so I don't know I don't know if it'll work for a stream. But I think it's an issue on on my end. Um, and I think I know how to fix it, so that's the case. All right, so we got all blue potions. We're all blued up and ready to go. Um, Let's flute and boot. Let's flute and boot Ganon out. Now let's go to the village. If you bring me a Dreamcast, can you can I stream? Um, probably not. Maybe I'm not sure actually. I don't know what kind of hookups they have. If I mean, I suppose if they have something that can convert to like an HDMI. Um, if they have something that can convert to an HDMI uh, output from my capture card, then I imagine I probably could. I don't know. That's a great question. Oh, really? I didn't. I didn't know they even had an adapter. All right, guys, are you ready to face Ganon? Let's go. That's right, Ganon's in a tree. Do I need my... Oh! Do I need silver arrows? <gasps> Do I need silver arrows in order to beat Ganon in this one? Is that a thing? I don't even know if that's a thing. Do I have silver arrows? I don't even know. All right, let's see what happens. I think, I think I got silver arrows. The uh, hem, hemiptera, 
Eptera or true bugs are an order of insects covering 50,000 to 80,000 species, like aphid, cicadas, and shield bugs. That's nice! I, guys, we learned something! Okay, cool. I do have the silver arrows because there's a little shininess to it. Hey Susan, yeah, just in time for Ganon. If I remember how this works. <laughs> huh. I just don't... Is there more to this? Oh no, silver, my one true weakness. Oh, I gotta... Pop a bottle here. Yes, I understand. Insects are great. Thanks. That's true, Susan. I I can I can say that we have ruled out that that is not the correct way to do it. Glad to have scienced that correctly. <laughs> that's some that's some real scientific theory stuff. That's right, we, we jump in the pit for science. After you light him up, hit him. After you light him up, hit him with the sword, and then arrow while he's frozen. Okay, perfect. I thought that might be the case and that I was just bad at it, so I'm glad that that is the case and I'm just bad at it. Come on, that... What was that garbage? I don't think so, bud. I feel like my shadow, my sprite just like... I don't know. Oh, I hit him before he started talking about insects again. Good. Let's go. Get all them hits on him. I don't care. You don't know me. You don't know me like that, Ganon. All right, let's let's get this at the ready here. On stop. Uh... I guess it's... just want to hit him, though. just want to hit him. <laughs> it 
It's so wild. You fly back like s like seven. The amount of frames that that stupid bat knocks you back is that's a lot. That's wild. Should I not even be hitting him during this part? Like, is the next part that he just fills up the arena and then he's like, Oh no, my blah blah blahs. Silver, my one true weakness. Oh yeah, okay, so that's exactly what happened. My dudes! My dudes! I was so close, and I got so overexcited, and I was like, I got this, and then I just walked right through them. Alright, for real real this time. I know, Susan, I'm sorry. Juan, thanks so much for liking the stream, I really appreciate it. So clearly the, these hits don't matter. So if I can I can just stay right here in the in the Triforce. I can score a hit. Might as well, right? <sighs> and thanks for liking the stream, Susan. I appreciate it. save right now. We're gonna do this uh, Shredder style, Susan. Do this, do this like I did in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I managed to get through that one. Come on, die. Yeah! Right. Boom. That's how we do. It save states. I mean, I could have done it without save states, but like you know, I just uh... if I fall now, what happens? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see the ending. All your base are belong to us. Solid. I'm on board. Boom. That's it. Right there. I will say, 
the writing of this game is phenomenal. <laughs> oh man, what a what a crazy ride, y'all. What a crazy ride. Oh god, that's terrifying. That's very terrifying. A priest's love. I don't understand this. What's happening? Sand sandwiches homecoming. I I do not take responsibility for anything that has transpired in this world. No sir. Literacy moves. Okay. Up, <laughs> up, up, and I mean they are sh they they certainly are making the uh, the game credits much more enjoyable to watch. Only one bed, your house. I guess that's true. I never really thought about it. There really there's only one bed in the house that you and your uncle share. It is a little a little confusing. A little confusing. Keys for sale. Sora's waterfall. Ow. Which buying drugs? <laughs> Which buying drugs? Sure, sure. Chop Chop! That's such a better name for them than the Lumberjacks. Oh god, they're terrifying! They had like weird eye- uh, Ice Cube Boy freezes again. He's playing music for all his favorite wizards. Yeah, baby, she's got it. Wishing well. Oh, look at all the fairies. I'm confused by this. Frogs for bread. He, uh, no, doesn't he turn into a tree? I guess maybe he does. Maybe, like, over time. Flute Boy turns into a tree, and then the forest turns him into Skull Kid? I don't know, it's confusing. Everything's very confusing. Life is confusing. Gary the Old Man. The Thieves Stump. That's nice. Oh, that skeleton had apples. That's cute. And the Couch Cash sleeps again. Forever. And that's that. Gary Jones lives inside of Indiana Jones. Wow. Did it, guys. We made it through Legend of Zelda uh, Randomizer. Oh, okay. I can kind of like... Oh, okay, so it actually plays through the credits proper. That's nice. <clears throat> yeah, Susan, I'm glad you popped in, too. Thanks for, thanks for watching the... Uh, the, the ending here and giving me that moral support that I so desperately needed for that for that last part. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out what the next um, platformer game is. So I think what I'm doing is I'm gonna play an RPG and a platformer kind of at the same time, uh, just so that I don't like. Oh God, here we go. Oh no, it tells me my times. Time found. Huh. That's cool. I got them all with the Master Sword. I missed two big, big keys? 
90 bonks. 99 bonks. Save and quits 30. No deaths. That's good. Two fairy revivals. Total many time. Total lag time. Oh, I only missed eight. Uh, eight things. Ski, thanks for liking the stream, man. I appreciate it. Huh. That's some pretty cool data that they gave us at the end. <clears throat> ah, Super Metroid. Maybe, maybe. Uh, that might be a good one. I was thinking some sort of, like, Metroidvania game, so... Huh. Ah, oh, there's that one, that one piece of heart that's missing. Dang, it's that one piece of heart. Is that it? Can I not move anymore? Yeah, I guess that's it, man. Cool. Yeah, I'll um, I'll throw up a, I'll throw up like a, a post maybe. Uh, if you guys want to recommend some good like action adventure platformers, um, you know, that I can kind of play through um, while playing Pokemon Soul Silver, that'd be really good. Uh, Susan, I think I might play Bonk at one point because uh, that's just it was just really fun to kind of play through that. That might be fun. Um, yeah, like, spend some time playing Bonk, maybe I'll revisit, uh, Bubble Bobble. Super Metroid's a great idea. Um, perfect. I, I got, got lots of, lots of, lots of options here. Um, and lots of time to do them. Oh, Yoshi's Island, that's a good one. I did do Super Mario Brothers 2, or sorry, Super Mario World, um, so that would be a, a nice uh, transition here. E.T. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I could do E.T. E well, like the Atari version? <laughs> that might be a little rough, man. Um, but yeah, cool. Yeah, so, uh, I'll put up a post if you want to throw some suggestions on there. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I think I probably won't be on too much tomorrow, um, but I'm going to try to get on Tuesday uh, for another another rendition of Pokemon Nuzlocke. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode of my Nuzlocke, you should definitely check it out. It was <laughs> it had a very sad ending, um, but yeah, I will. Uh, Catch you guys all later. Uh, have a good night, everyone. And uh, thanks again for coming on the Zelda journey with me. I feel my sanity slowly returning after all of the randomness. So, uh, And big shout out to all the people that gave me all the tips and tricks and reminders and, and everything like that because I would have not been able to get through it. Uh, <laughs> without you guys. It was a collective effort. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.